to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pre-drill a plunge point for a simple pocket. Now, to do this, there's a bunch of ways you could drill a hole. For example, I could drill out all the corners of the pocket and then plunge there. But that's too simple because everything's already ready for us to do that. In this case, I want to make it a little more interesting. So I'm going to switch to CAD mode. And in CAD mode, I'm going to go ahead and create a simple sketch. So I'm going to right click on the top face, go to sketch, and I'm going to make a circle. Maybe my circle is going to be half inch in diameter. I'm going to put it right there in the middle. Perfect. Exit the sketch. Back to cam mode. Now in cam mode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drilling that circle. So I'm going to right click on space, go to drilling, go to hole machining. Here I'm not going to care about uh, center drilling or tip drilling. I'm just going to go straight to drilling. And I'm going to select my circle. Now when I select the circle, I need a tool of course. So let's go get that. I'll go look for a twist drill. Why not? I'll double click on an empty pocket in my tool carousel. Let the software go ahead and search. Lo and behold, I have used a half inch drill before. Shocking. Now that I have the tool selected, the only thing I'm worried about is setting the depth accurately. So I can do that here under geometry type, but it's a little bit hard to describe these here. So instead I'm gonna go into settings. If I go into settings, and open this up, you can see the descriptions of what everything is. Respect geometry will respect the geometry. This is usually used when I'm drilling a solid feature. Until finish. This is precisely what we want to use because here we want to machine until we hit the finished surface below. In the until finish section, we can define a safety distance on the finish as well. For example, I want to drill down till 50 thousandths away from that finished surface. Cool. Of course, you can go activate pecking, clearing, whatever. But at the end of the day, we now have our cycle. Next, what I want to do is I want to go and choose end milling. And in end milling, I'm going to pick a tool. Again, this time it'll be an end mill. I'll double click and I'll go find one. Maybe in this case, we'll look for a little bit smaller tool or maybe a half-inch tool, why not? doesn't really matter for our sample sake. Now here, the software is going to pick a plunge point itself. That's what Top Solid does. But in the cases where you want to define that plunge point, here's what you do. In the quick settings balloon right here, there's something called lead-in point. If I double-click on lead-in point, it puts me in a plan view, and I can choose exactly where I want to plunge. Perfect. Select my circle, validate. And now, as you can see, that plunge point is happening right at that drilled hole. Fantastic. Last thing I'm going to show you is how to pick a plunge point for side milling as well. So I'm going to right click here, go to side milling. In this case, again, lead in, lead out points, double click. If I choose my lead in point here and choose it to the center there, you can see it extends that lead in point to the center there, and that's where the tool will plunge. My first machine is where I want to start the machining. I want to start the machining roughly there. My last machined is where I want to finish the machining. I want to finish the machining there, thus trimming the tool path. My lead out back to there. Perfect. Now I've gotten the tool path to do exactly what I want it to do, and I'm ready to go run this on the machine.